Unexpected visit. Run. Right to Tunnelberg, get a horse. Yes. Okay. Oh. There's lots of them. Do we have a sword equipped? Um, yes. Okay, I know this is not the right time, but yep, some puppies. Who can say no to a puppy? Oh, what's going on down here? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, oh, oh. run, 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 run. We distracted them. Run, 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 run. Yeah. Put yours all the way. Yeah. Yes. Okay. To Talmberg it is. Some riding pursuit. Okay. This is horrible. Left. Talmurg is to the left along the stream. Catching up. Yeah. Run. I shouldn't have sold all my apples. I got at least thrown Please. some at them or something. Don't follow the road. Run to the forest. Oh. Run, run, run. Then it's just. Road. Yeah, run. Kill you all. Talmberg is right there. I think we're gonna make it. Yeah. Oh yes.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Mm. Yeah. That feels nice. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thanks. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robard. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Yeah, good thing. all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Sir Devish, a wise man. Okay. We are very tired and hungry. Hmm. Oh. Yep. Yep. Hello. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. 
Good thinking, my good sir. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsman who moved to the countryside to make horses. You fled from Scalitz. How did you manage that? Um, I don't want to talk about Scalitz. It, well, it was awful. Sigismund came with his army. They touched Rona on the way. Um, Sigismund came with his army. Yeah. Fine sunny day until Sigismund came with his army. I saw him sitting there with his red beard and proud posture as he gave the signal to attack. Oh, no. I didn't make it inside the castle. I fled to the castle, but they, par but my parents were killed. Um, then the slaughter began. I didn't make it inside the castle. I ran the to castle. the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me, I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw a father trying to save mother. They, they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. My God, that's horrible. You were lucky to survive. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you have waited long enough, I guess. Uh... Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul, after everything he's been through? He must be as hungry as a bear, aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Mm -hmm. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Manners. Eat up now. Never You're forget your manners. Hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Yes, sir. <sighs> Must eat. Yeah, let's get some food. And I guess, yeah, let's take some roast as well. Um, good nourishment, but drain show. Okay, not anymore. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it takes six energy and I have like 30 now. So, I mean, right now it, it doesn't matter. Let's just eat because we need the nourishment. We are very hungry. Yeah, and one more. And a bread roll, and a bread roll. Okay, we are good to go. I guess I didn't need that. Oh well. <sighs> Let's get some sleep. Should we get the, uh, I mean, should we take the shoes off? Just as he said to please him, because if Kunish could beat my ass. So Robert, yeah, he would, uh, yeah. Sleep. Ooh. 
Yeah. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood. Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers, how awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world, although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. I just can't talk about it. Tell the story of the raid. Yeah, tell the story. You might be right. Man. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the town for ale and met my sweetheart Bianca there. I went to collect the debt. I met my friends. I went to yeah, let's see this one. A fellow by the name of Kuna showed money to Father, who sent me to collect it from him. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Sir Radzik came to look at the sword. Yes, he did. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzig himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. Yes. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. There was a huge horde of attackers. Oh yeah, there were quite a few. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. I saw them kill my girl Bianca. They killed my father and mother. Yes, they did. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded at the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbors to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. 
I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse. Yeah. Oh, yes. I and needed a horse to get to the safety here. of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuman savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Yeah, it was quite terrible. It's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors he went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Sweet dreams.
Patrick, <sighs> wake up. You don't want to miss this. <sighs> what is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallops. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Okay, the torch. That was a horrible nightmare, by the way. Wow. But who can blame him? Uh, torch, torch, torch. There it is. Okay. Uh, we probably should get some shoes on. Uh, Old boots, yes. Let's go see what's happening. Talk to Captain and Robot. Sigismund and his army prepare for the worst, but don't be. Hello, robot. What's going on here? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmog in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scallops. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivis sent to Scallops to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Hi, we will. Yeah, I guess. Farewell. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Oh, that's Who else, sick. Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Indeed, he was. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? Yes, I am. I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scallops. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry mm. about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. 
Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled. Report everything to me at once. Understood? Can you use me for anything? What you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. <laughs> of course I have. Of course. To. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. Oh, yes. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. I'll be with you. So, yeah. Keep watch on the battlements. Well, you go. Hey, it's not easy to see anything, huh? It is very dark. Oh. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? Mm, I don't yep. think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, let's pretend we're doing something dumb. to stop raining. Seriously, that must bring up some PTSD in Harry or Henry, yeah. Mm -mm. See how the self-appointed king means the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. You don't want to end up like them. I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt concord in the land 
and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. <coughs> yeah. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, the Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Sir Devish is an amazing diplomat. Oh, yes. But yeah, so the wish is awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh, I still got the torch out. What's on the agenda now? Uh, run. Bury your loved ones in Scarlet's. Talk to Sir Robot. Get a horse. Sir Robot will, uh, should be right here. Right there. Hello, robot. My respects to you. I have to get to skeletons. Why did Sigismund raid skeletons? What is Sigismund after? What do you know about the humans? Yeah, why did he raid skeletons? Why did Sigismund burn down skeletons and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Okay. What is Sigismund What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? 
Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Hmm. It has a strategic, strategic position and strong fortifications. He was afraid of the Kuttenberg and certain lords to feed his troops from the granaries for the loot. Hmm. He was afraid of the Kuttenberg and certain lords to feed his troops. I guess it's a strong fortification, maybe. No, I miss the lords. He's afraid of the lords. Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Okay. What do you know about the Cumans? Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. True enough. I have to get to Skelets. So, Robard, I need to get to Skelets. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I have to bury my parents. Let me out before I lose my timber. If you are in my shoes, you'd do the same. Well... If you want my shoes, you do the same. So, Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Okay, then I guess we'll have to find another way. Um, yeah, and just to clarify my choices in the beginning of the Let's Play, uh, about the strength and vitality and stuff, um, I chose strength because uh, I'm going to focus on long swords and axes and long bows, um, and they are all strength based, um, so that's why. And just to, so I can hit a little harder from the beginning of the game, so uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, we have to escape from her, or like, escape, escape. Hello, Radim. Good day to you. I need to get out of her, is there a trader here somewhere, about Sigismund army, about Sigismund That army. business with Sigismund turned out well in the end, didn't it? Aye, that was a good start. Now we need to drive him and his war whores out of Bohemia for good. Oh, yes. Yes, Is that's there right. someone here who trades in goods? Hungry, are you? You should go and see the cook. She's good-hearted, especially if you come with some coin. <laughs> For anything else, you should see a fellow called Votava. Folk aren't too fond of him, because he's as surly as a wet cat. But he can get you just about anything. I saw him by the granary. You'll recognize him easy. He looks like he's never had a decent meal in his life. 
Uh, yeah, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Okay. Henry, the special case. Uh, don't know. Don't you know who I am? I'm willing to pay. So robot gave permission. Let me out, or else I have to bury my parents. Don't you know who I am? I don't think he cares who I am. Uh, so robot gave. <laughs> Yeah, right. Uh, well, let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. <laughs> Come on. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard or think something up so I don't end up in a shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Mm, let's try and think something up. What have you got in mind? Yep. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I let him go. That's obvious. All right. I'll have a look around for something. Yes. Okay. I have this intuition that I'm gonna need a lockpick. So, hello, whatever. Good health to you. Trade. trade. If you've got the coin. Good luck to you. Let's see what you have. Anything we can sell to you? You can get some carrots and some lentil mash. You know what? I'm not needing this many of those. Uh, yeah, then let's get some lockpicks and even it out a little more. What else do you have? Mm, okay. Take one off and then we're gonna haggle. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Well, are we agreed? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Uh. <laughs> Is this enough? Close. Drop the price a bit really? more and we'll shake on it. Come on, Watson. Don't be unreasonable. Okay. That's a somewhat. He is not one to negotiate with. Okay, let's see. We need to get some guard uniform so we can escape. If we go this way around, we can um, get in behind where we should get the guard uniform and get us a little bow while we are there. Just have to make sure no one sees us enter. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Long distance arrow. Bow. Let's take the bow. Yeah. It is stealing, but they are not gonna miss it. 
Long distance, nine. That should do. Uh, anything else? Lock pick hard. No, too difficult. Do we have? Okay, let's get down here. Hey, who's there? Oh, I heard something. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on, take on. Yes. Oh, I hear something. Someone is coming. Okay, that was lucky. Then let's get equipped. Okay. Bow, arrow, paw. Hmm. Okay, then we are good to go and pretend we are a Talenberg soldier. Let's just walk all casually. It is. Oh, sorry. Uh, <coughs> it's not me. Now we just need a horse. But not just any horse. We need a special horse. Not this one. Uh, this one, Olina. Okay. Uh. Ow, watch where you're going. Yeah, stupid sound bad soldier, random person. Okay, that's all right. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone, take care now. Thank you, my good sir. Okay. Flee the castle and get some skeletons. Skeletons up there, near yeah, Talenberg. Okay. Let's just take a look at those question marks on the map before we get too far. Yeah. Lots of guards, but I guess that's understandable considering the humans nearby. Legends and we should have a yeah. hunt master up here. Hunt 
Huntsman. Yes. Okay. Then let's head our skeletons yeah. to bury my parents. speed so fast you go Olin for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. Stomach. A tough one indeed. 